Hello good people, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. In this episode today, I've got the latest news for you regarding the express entry, the implication of the express entry and how you can apply for it. And also I'll be giving you to provincial nominee, the latest one and how you can go about it too. So for international students, I've got some good news for you too. So you wanna hang on tight in this video, I'll be giving you the lots and lots of information. I'll be keeping you up to date because you know I like to give out the information so that people out there can actually make use of it, act on it, and before you know it, you find yourself in Canada. So hang on tight, I will be back. All right, viewers, you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. I still remember my humble self, MC Bernardino. This is Canada Reality, where I dish out content for those that are in Canada and those that are intending on planning on migrating to Canada. If this is your first time on this YouTube channel, please click on the subscribe button. There's a notification bell beside it. Click on it so that anytime I drop a video, you'll be among the first to get it. For our returning subscribers, thank you very much for having the belief and trust in us. And likewise too, every weekend on Sunday, I do Instagram live. So you might want to follow me on my Instagram handle Canada Reality because I always bring in somebody like an international student to come and share his own experience. So. You might want to join me on Instagram weekend on Sunday. I dish out information, so follow me on my Instagram account. Okay, viewers. So let me start with the um, two. In the last one week, as at the last time I uh, gave you the latest updates, um, two uh, express entry draws were done. So let me keep you up to date with this last two express entry and the implication of it. So on March 17th, an express entry was done. And uh, invitation was sent out to 183 candidates. 183 applicants were told to apply, and the CRS score was 682. So it was a provincial nominee uh, draw. So that simply means that those that applied through provincial nominee were the ones that were invited in the first draw. So and the CRS score was 682. And the meaning of that is that the least person, don't forget that if for you to go through provincial nominee, you must have been given additional 600. So that means the least person that was invited had 82. With the 600 that he was allotted, he or she was allotted, that makes it 682. So that simply implies that if you haven't applied for provincial nominee, you might want to look at that because virtually all the 10 provinces and three territories operate what is called provincial nominee. I know it's complicated, but like I always tell you, create it, express your interest because that could be another avenue for you to come into Canada. On the next day, March 18, to be precise, uh, the 179 draw was done, and this particular one was geared towards Canadian experience class. And how many people were invited? 5,000 applicants were told to apply for ITA. And what was the CRS score? 449. 449, you might want to say that is a bit low. It's low, but don't forget I said it is Canadian experience class. So, meaning that for you to be invited you must have studied in, you must be in Canada and you must have studied in Canada so that's not really open for those that are outside Canada and I keep getting this question that why is it that those that are outside Canada there's no FSW draw the reason is that probably they felt that if they do FSW or FST and all encompassive draw it won't make any point because people can't come into Canada that's why they are holding on to that and that's why now all they do is provincial nominee and Canadian experience class. So keep your fingers crossed because definitely at the point FSW, FS, FST will be done anytime soon. Just create those profiles and remain in the pool. Very soon, good news await you. Next on my news is that you know that the Canada US border has been, the, the, the border closure, it has been closed since last year, March, if I'm not mistaken. And I can tell you again that it has been extended again up until April. 2021. The last one was supposed to end on 21st of March, but now it has been extended again up until 21st of April 2021. So they keep increasing it by one month, by one month, by one month. Nobody knows when, know when it's going to end, but just to let you know that the US Canada border is still short, so non essential travelers cannot just come into Canada because the borders are closed. And likewise, too, apart from the US border, the main border for international travelers outside, not US now, they can't come in because the border is still closed. So even if you have a study visa, you have to show a quarantine plan uh, through your school. You can come in if your school has a quarantine plan. If you have a visitor's visa, a tourist visa, you might not be able to come in except you are a re direct relative of a permanent resident or a citizen of Canada. If not that, you can't come in for now. I know some people with a visitor's visa, 
that is about to expire and they could not come. I understand, but there's nothing we can do about that for now. All right, so the next news that I have for you is on a rural, northern, and immigration pilot program. So the news that I have for you is that um, Thunder Bay, Thunder Bay is one of the communities that is um, presently uh, piloting this RNIP. So they actually invited some um, some artisans to apply for permanent residence. And these artisans include cooks, I mean cook, um, cleaners, uh, chef. So those were the people that were invited, thought I'd be invited to apply for permanent residence. So why I actually brought this news to you is, it's actually the, the, the job occupation of those that were invited were not engineers, were not doctors, nurses, but they were more like an artisan. So they were like trade. So cooks, uh, chef, cleaners were those that were invited to apply for uh, permanent residents through the RNIP. So what I'm just trying to say is I've done a video on this. You can also go to IRCC website where you can actually learn more about the RNIP. That's another pilot program through which you can migrate into Canada. And the, uh, the communities that are participating in it are actually trying to bring in people into those, commun those rural communities because it is believed that majority of the people that come comes into Canada, they live in the city. So those rural areas are actually suffering from lack of uh, immigrants coming in there. So that's why they created the RNIP. So you might want to look at that. I mean, while everybody's looking at the cities, you might actually just look at the RNIP. If you want to read more about it, just type it online, Google it, and you will see information about it. And also, I've done a video on it, so you might want to check my playlist for a video on RNIP and how you qualify and how you can apply for it. All right, viewers, that's much of the news that I can bring to you in the last, uh, that has occurred in the last one week. If you have any question, anything you're not clear about, drop it in the comment section. If uh, you enjoyed this video, please hit, hit, hit on the like button, share this video with whoever you feel will benefit from it. And if you haven't subscribed, please endeavor to hit on the subscribe button and turn on the notification. Till I come back to you again next week, with the latest news, I mean, I like to serve those information because I know information is key, and that's why I created this platform in the first place. And don't forget, every weekend on Sunday precisely, I do Instagram Live, where I bring in a keynote speaker, like a like international student that just recently came into Canada, that he or she will come and share his own experience. I've done like two videos in the past, so you might want to visit my uh, Instagram channel, Canada Reality. So um, follow me there where you can actually see it. And on this weekend too, I will bring in someone else again to come and tell us how he or she went about uh, his uh, application process and how he eventually find himself in Canada. So just follow me on my Instagram page and with that you will stay in tune and you can get those information as it drops. Till I see you again, please stay safe. See you in Canada.